Good morning from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Monday, April 24. This is a very pleasant sight. Our 1960 Cruiser Seafarer is only lacking her bootstripe, varnish on the transom and the stem, installing the splash rails and varnishing them and she'll be ready to go home. We've just finished applying three coats of Pettit Hard Racing Bronze enamel to the bottom of the cruisers. The transom has been stained and sealed with CPES. The top sides received three coats of Interlux pre-coat primer. We uh, hand sanded starting with uh, 100 grit and getting to 180 as we work through the, the three coats. Why do we put three coats on? Because you get a better result. Not only is the adhesion and the priming uh, much better, but in fact the extra paint followed by the hand sanding fills declivities and makes the, the surface all the flatter. Once the uh, pre-coat was cured, uh, I think Interlux uh, specifies a recoat in something like 16 hours. Uh, we let it, the, the pre-coat uh, uh, cure for a couple of days only because there was so much else to do in the shop and at which time we uh, began applying the Interlux Premium Yacht Enamel in semi-gloss white and again we applied three coats and we sanded after each coat we uh, started out with uh, 220 the first time and again we're trying to achieve the same goal of making the surface flatter and flatter and flatter so we we went from that sandpaper to 320 after the uh, third coat at which point we applied a fourth coat and I'll have to say the results are quite stunning this cruisers, if you remember, has impressed us from the very beginning with her excellent, excellent condition. She's totally original. She has not been hurt in any way that we can discern. And I would say there's a good chance that, um, oh, just give us a little time. By the end of next week, she should be ready to go home. Uh, her owners have elected to do the all of the work from the rub rail uh, up, if you will. In other words, they wish to do the decks and the bilge and the interior etc. themselves. They're quite capable of doing so, but we've been honored to have this major component of uh, this cruiser's preservation project. Uh, we say preservation because that's what we're doing. We're not restoring the boat. Restoring the boat means you're putting a bunch of extra pieces, new pieces of wood in it, you're changing uh, seating arrangements, uh, the, you're putting a new windshield on it, not so with this cruisers. We are truly pursuing and executing a preservation exercise. We have repaired things like fasteners, we've repaired minor dents and dings in the, uh, in the strakes, but we haven't changed a piece of wood, not one.
Not anywhere. Not at all. That's a, the goal of preservation. So the next time you see her, she will be right side up. Have a gleaming stem, a gleaming transom, and glossy splash rails. That will be the milestone that we are absolutely uh, pursuing from day one on this project. So, thank you so much. Goodbye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks. <laughs>